guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing video for you guys and I'm so so excited. Yeah those hand gestures weren't completely out of control at all. What am I a magician? Jeez. About these. Now a little backstory on the Derwent Light Fast Pencils. I have the 100 wooden box set in front of me and I'm so excited and we're going to open them together on camera. Uh, these were a line of pencils that had actually launched like a couple of years ago. They're still relatively new to the line, but they had originally come out. The first release was a range of just 36 colors with the intention to expand to a 72 color range. That was the announcement. Now, when I knew that all the colors were going to be ASTM 100% light fast, I knew I wanted these because if you guys have watched me for any length of time, you know that light fastness and archivalness is very, very important to me. And I love Derwent. I have like all their pencils. I have their color soft color pencils, their artist pencils, ink tense pencils, ink tense blocks, their watercolor pencils, their pastel pencils, charcoal pencils, graphite pencils. Um, what else? They're drawing pencils, which are amazing. The Derwent drawing pencils. Oh my God. And I had seen a couple blog posts online where people had said that these were similar in texture to the drawing pencils. Although these are supposed to be an oil based color pencil. Now there's really no such thing as an oil based color pencil. They're all a combination, um, a blend of oil and wax. If they were completely oil based, they'd, they'd be too soft. They'd come out like oil paint. You know, that's an oil based product, oil paint. Um, but anyway, typically an oil-based color pencil is going to be your harder pencils like the polychromos color pencils, which I love and I've done a full review on my channel on those, but they are very, very hard and I can't do full colored pencil pieces in them because I have um, strength issues in my hands and it really will hurt me over time uh, when I work with them for long periods of time. So I went ahead and I decided that I was gonna play the waiting game on these because I knew that I would want the full 72 range when they had come out. So I waited and I waited and then when they were released, Derwent had made the announcement that there was also an intention to eventually expand to a final color range of 100. So, here we are now and I finally got them. I did decide that um, since the 100 set was only going to be in the wooden box, I'd go ahead and grab it anyway. But I've never had the wooden boxes from Derwent, despite all the pencils from them that I have. I've always gotten the tins. But um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited to open this. So let's just go ahead and get right on into opening it. All right, so here it is the hardwood box outside of the cardboard sleeve that it comes in. I'll do some definite close-ups on this. It's got this really nice gold text on the top of it. It says fine art pencils, but doesn't specifically say the light fast range on there, which is good because if you use them up and you wanna use this box for something else, um, then you can do that. It's got nice gold hardware snap closures on it. So it seems really, really nice. Let's go ahead and open it. Wow, okay, so the first thing that I notice is they have a booklet on the top. And the booklet has some hints and tips. It's got a summary of their testing methods. So that's really nice, I like to see that. It seems like they're really taking it seriously. And, ooh. Okay, so here on the color chart, this is exciting. They not only have the names of the colors, but they have pigment information for each individual pencil. And I've never seen that with a line of color pencils before or any pencils from, from Derwent or really any brand before. So that, that's really exciting to see. Additionally, they have this like foam Thing in here. I think this is a strip meant to protect the tips of the pencils. Um, this is a nice deep hardwood box. I'm going to knock on it for you. It seems like it's made very well and that it should last a lifetime. This is really sturdy construction. So the box should last you a lifetime if say you chose to put pastels in it or other pencils when you were done using it up. And then you've got this collector's book, light fast collections book. Um, seems to be nice full color glossy book. So off 
camera just now, I went ahead and I flipped through this um, collector's book. I just want to say, and, and forgive me if you disagree, but this is a really useless, redundant book. You don't need this. If you were thinking, oh no, I'm not going to get the collector's book or the collection book because I didn't get the full 100 set, you, you're not missing out on anything. Seriously, you didn't miss anything. It's got a lot, it's not got any information in here that this booklet doesn't, but it's not actually as, um, as articulate or as uh, effective, really. It's just mostly pictures. And it doesn't have, it's just like a history on Derwent pencils in here. So uh, this is kind of a waste of paper and unnecessary to be, very, to be very honest. I'm sorry. I think they just were like, you know what? I, we've got to fill this space up with something. Let's just throw a, a useless redundant book in there. I'm sorry, Derwent. I love you guys, but. No, seriously, please, Nicole, don't hold back. Tell us how you really feel. That's really was not necessary. All right, so the top tray that I have here has some yellows, a few oranges, reds. I'll definitely make sure I do a close-up of all of these pencils. Here's that foam strip again to protect the pencil tips, which I really appreciate that when you stack this wood uh, draw on top, it's going to protect those pencil tips. You've got everything from pinks to purples, blues, turquoises, and starting to get into some greens. And then the last draw, oh boy, where am I going to put this stuff? Oh goodness. <laughs> the very last draw, and this foam strip's not in the right place here, has the rest of your like earth greens, yellows, earths, grays. It's probably not everyone's favorite draw, but it's my favorite draw. It's got this nice piece of foam here. So they really are thinking of protecting the tips. I will say one thing. This box absolutely reeks of linseed oil. And I mean, it's a, it, I noticed the stench, the stench, the aroma, let's put it that way, right away. So if you're sensitive to um, scents or fragrance, you're probably going to want to air this box out. Let it air out a couple days open and it would probably dissipate. Probably they varnished the box or they polished the box with linseed oil. If you're an oil painter, you recognize this smell right away. It's not a deterrent, um, but I definitely meant, I definitely noticed the smell right away on these pencils. So one thing that I noticed right away about the look of these pencils is that they remind me somewhat of my Faber-Castell Pitt Pastel pencils. They're a nice like varnished wood and then they have the color indicator on the end cap. I'm really excited to get into these and start swatching out a couple. You guys know I'm very serious about my reds. I love my reds. So I think I'm going to swatch out the reds first. I'm just going to do a couple swatches for you guys. It's just an unboxing video, certainly not a review by any means. Um, but I've got some paper here and I'm going to grab the red pencils. This is Derwent Red. Um, which I hear is some people's favorite. Uh, what is this one? Strawberry. Looks nice. Let's take Derwent Red, Strawberry, Scarlet. Ooh, look at that. Look at that one. You guys, this pencil is broken. It's wonky. Um... It looks like it's split in a couple places and then there's like this shiny like resin type material in there. It looks like the pencil broke and they tried gluing it back together. It, <laughs> it seriously looks like, come on Derwent, no, that is a big no-no. Don't tarnish your beautiful name and reputation with a pencil like that. Come on. I mean, I can't even try and hide it, you guys. It happened right there in front of you on camera. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I got that pencil. <laughs> pretty that is pretty messed up I'll contact Blick and I'm sure they'll send me out a replacement but that's not going to sharpen properly at all so uh, but we still can swatch it out we'll do the scarlet autumn red cherry red let's do the reds because I'm seriously the most excited about the reds so let's swatch them out together 
All right, so I decided to zoom you guys down in here. I got five of the red pencils because I was so excited. And I also grabbed a couple other pencil tins from my collection. I want to compare the texture to the Derwent drawing, which I saw some blog posts and they said that they were very similar and I really hope so because these are my favorite pencils by Derwent. And I also have some Faber-Castell because they're an oil base and I just wanted to compare really, really quickly. So let's go ahead and, oh, that pencil. That's sad to see. Let's go ahead and swatch out the Scarlet together. I don't know what happened with that pencil, but that, when you pay that much for a wood box set and there, your pencil comes like that, I mean, that I'm not gonna lie, that kinda put a little damper on my excitement just now. And here we go, let's do the Scarlet. I'm doing light pressure circular motions and then I'll do some a little bit firmer pressure mm. okay so they're laying down nice and smooth nice and even they're definitely not as soft as the Derwent drawing pencils absolutely not they're not as soft as a Prismacolor pencil or like a Derwent Color Soft pencil, but they're not hard, I don't think, either. Let's see, and I'll do some more intense up there, a little bit stronger pressure. I like that they are 100% light fast, though. And the next red that I have is the Derwent Red. Somebody had told me this was their favorite from the collection. Oh, this is exciting. So kind of light pressure medium pressure just to get that color kind of quickly they're definitely nowhere near as hard as the polychromos pencils I like the polychromos pencils but they hurt me to use them they really do because they're just you have to work really hard to get the pigmentation that's beautiful that's like a lipstick red and it it I mean it wore that tip down really quick here's a fresh one that's not been touched and here is one the one they just swatched out so yeah I mean they're pretty soft because I used quite a bit of that pour um, so we swatched out the scarlet we just swatched out that one is the Derwent red let's try the strawberry let's try that one yeah, so it's not hurting my hand at all to use, which is nice because I have, like I said, some hand strength and pain issues. These are nice. These are really, this is the Strathmore drawing paper, by the way, in case you were interested. It's got a nice vellum surface, and uh, I think for this purpose it's fine. A little bit more medium pressure there. And then I'll, I'll apply some more firm pressure to get the color to release there. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. Now I will say I was flipping through the booklet. Um, the booklet that has the pigment information. These are fine quality artist pigments. Some of them are toxic. No, there's nothing too terrible in there. Most of them are fine. Um, but there is some chromium oxide green, which is moderately toxic. And the pigment that really concerns me and I don't like to use in my, pig, my studio at all is the manganese violet that's in a couple of them. Manganese violet is highly, highly toxic if inhaled and moderately toxic if ingested. Now in pencil form, you're gonna have such a limited exposure to the pigment, if any, that I wouldn't worry about it too much, but I still would not let your children play with these pencils, not just for the cost reasons, but I would just be a little bit more aware because they are fine art pigments from the earth and that's how they're able to be light fast and archival but some of them can be toxic, so just something to keep in mind, and you're not privileged to the pigment information before you purchase these, so um, I just wanted to let you know that so you can make a nice informed decision. That's cherry red. These reds are beautiful. And the scarlet is my favorite, and it came broken. No! Did they glue that back together? Like, is that what they attempted to do there? But it is cracked. 
in several places and that's got that shiny hard resin on it that is not not going in my pencil sharpener i'm not going to ruin my expensive pencil sharpener uh for whatever that is and then this is the autumn red we will definitely do some uh, i'll make sure they're all swatched out for the review that I'll be doing on these coming in the future. And I'll also make sure that um, I have some comparisons ready to other Derwent pencils if you guys are interested. I have the Color Soft, the Artist, the Drawing. And let me know any suggestions in the description box down below. Not the description box, the comment section down below if there are any other pencils that I might have that you'd like to see these directly compared to. That's the autumn red and it's beautiful. Nothing here seems too um, unnatural either and I like more muted subdued fine art colors and that's what you're getting here. That's beautiful. Very little wax bloom on these as well. Let's go ahead and directly compare them while we have if you guys are interested. Let's do a little fun. Let's see, what color can I directly compare with the reds? Now, I think the red selection in the polychromos is definitely, they have some more brighter ones and more orangey reds. I really like the reds in the polychromos, but there's no real serious overlap here, so that's good because you're going to get, I have the full range of the polychromos reds, by the way. Um, oops, so I'm gonna have some some new ones that I can, some new colors in my collection. So I'm glad there's not like a serious overlap. Let's say this one and this one would be maybe the most comparable. So, oh, the polychromos are just so nice. They are harder, but they, but they do feel really nice. Yeah, so it's definitely that pencil 100% is much harder. But the tips last longer and you can get more fine details. So that's kind of the advantage there. More medium pressure. And then the hard pressure. The polychromos pencils do kind of hurt my hands. And they're meant to be more layered and built up slowly. Not a lot of dust or crumbs here, so that's really nice. Yeah, this is not as um, as the exact same color at all, which is great because it looks like there's not going to be, if you already had a set of polychromos and you're wondering if these reds were going to be the same exact colors, they don't seem to be at all. Is I'm not going to get many overlapping colors, so that's nice. I got all new colors to add to my set. I just want to kind of switch back and forth a little bit. Oh, yeah. These are much softer than those polychromos. Um, and I'm starting to have hand pain and pain in my wrist, my shoulder, and my arm from just this little bit of use with the polychromos. So to avoid that and get around that, because the polychromos are good pencils, but I just have hand strength issues, um, I use pastel matte paper. And that really grabs the pigment. It builds up much quicker because I'm getting already tired with those so that's really nice and then I wanted to compare the Derwent drawing pencils now here's the thing about the Derwent drawing pencils they did two releases of these the first series that they did were harder and they had some breakage problems these are I have the second generation Derwent drawing pencils and they are creamy soft and smooth um there is no like red, so I can't really compare the reds, but I can compare the feel here very much. So I have the Ruby Earth here, comparing the feel. Um, you know what? Just, oops, just grab some random color that I have here. What do I have? Strawberry. Actually, hmm. Hmm. No, I do think that the Derwent drawing are softer. Yeah, they're softer. But these are not bad. These are definitely not bad softness wise.
Yeah, I mean, these are, the Derwent drawing pencils are known to be a very opaque, very nice, opaque, creamy, creamy, dreamy, <laughs> super soft pencil. And I was hoping for soft pencils. I have to be honest with you guys. I know oil-based pencils have that, you know, reputation for being harder pencils, better for details, but I've got that already with the polychromos and yeah. So they are not as soft as the Derwent drawing. Absolutely not. They're not the same pencil. Definitely not. These are a little bit firmer, but that's not a bad thing. Cause because they're gonna be more versatile. They're somewhere in between. And they're definitely nowhere near as soft as a Prismacolor pencil. Um, just as I'm using them, I can feel this is softer. This is absolutely softer. But they have that very same finish um, a lot of the time when I tilt the page. Now, the, um, the Derwent drawing pencil is also more matte. It doesn't have like any wax bloom, even though these are supposed to be a wax base and these are supposed to be an oil base. Um, and then going back to the polychromos now, they also have very little wax bloom, but they're very transparent. All right, so what I'd like to do next is I would like to grab a couple colors and see how they overlay. Can I layer a lighter color over a darker color? Because you can't do that with the polychromos and it's something that I do like to do in my work. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just grabbed a couple like uh, bluish green kind of turquoisey colors. I just wanna see how they'll form up to make a gradient. One thing that I noticed as I was flipping through the, the brochure that comes in there is that a lot of the pigments are reused and recycled over and over again to make different colors. So if it, it makes it much easier to get color harmony that way and I really like that. Also, the light fast number and the color name and number is on each one of the pencils, which is very, very nice. I really trust the Derwent Pencil Company. They have a really good reputation. And like I said, I've been a long, long, long time customer. Um, I really like their pencils. There's a nice velvet lining inside that box. And it looks like this box would last a lifetime. I could definitely see myself putting pastels or something in there. I'm just using very light pressure because I want to get kind of a smooth gradient. Now I can layer the light colors over the dark colors with the Derwent drawing pencils. Um, and that's one of the things I really love about those pencils. Those pencils are also 100% light fast. They're all a seven or an eight. Most of them are all eights. There's only one seven on the blue wool scale in those pencils. So they are excellent quality as well. Do not overlook those, you guys. Don't overlook those pencils. They are nice and so if you like a very soft, soft pencil, nice and opaque and creamy, you guys are gonna love those. I should do a review on my channel on those because they're still my favorite in the line. So, yeah, if I was doing a full review, I'd definitely be more articulate and the video be more well thought out, well planned out. It's just an unboxing. Just a nice relaxing unboxing video. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. All right, let's speed this part up. All right, so here's kind of what I've come up with here. Um, I do think that to a degree you can kind of layer the light over the dark. Not quite as effectively though as with the Derwent drawing pencils. So um, I have to disagree with the people who are saying, some people in some blog posts have been saying that the Derwent drawing pencils and these pencils are the exact same formulation and the exact same pencils, and, uh, but with just more expanded color line. I have to disagree with that 100%. The Derwent drawing pencils are not only much softer, more creamy, but they're definitely a different formula. They're more opaque, and you absolutely could work on tinted paper with the Derwent drawing pencils, um, and you can layer the lights over the darks really well. 
These are more like a traditional uh, oil-based pencil in that they're just a little bit more transparent, but they're not like, you know, as transparent as the Polychromos pencils and they're not as hard. They're, a not, they're probably my favorite oil-based pencil right now at this moment, but I can't say because I've only swatched and played with them for the last half hour. I do not do first impression reviews. You have to work with it for a while to know how you really feel about it, but I will be doing a full review coming up on this channel uh, probably in the next couple months on these pencils because I, again, really like to take my time and work with them before I can give you a more educated opinion. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see these pencils compared to. I've got the Color Soft. I've got the Polychromos. I've got um, Prismacolor. I've got a lot of pencils. So let me know uh, what you'd like to see and I'd be more than happy to oblige. Again, thank you so much for watching and as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.